Derek Kramer locked up his bustling restaurant, his mind still occupied with thoughts of the captivating woman who had recently dined there. Madeline Davidson had left a lasting impression on him, her elegance and mysterious allure captivating his imagination. As he made his way to his car, his eyes caught a glimpse of Karen Campbell, one of the hard-working cleaners, acting unusually nervous near the back entrance. Curiosity peaked, Derek hesitated and observed Karen from a distance. He noticed her fidgeting with her bag, glancing around anxiously as if afraid of being caught. The tendrils of suspicion crept into Derek's mind. Could Karen be stealing from the restaurant? Determined to uncover the truth, he approached her briskly, the adrenaline of anticipation coursing through his veins. Karen, may I have a word? Derek called out, his voice carrying a mixture of concern and authority. Startled, Karen turned to face him, her eyes widening in surprise. Oh, Mr. Kramer, is something wrong? She asked, feigning innocence. Derek's gaze narrowed as he scrutinized Karen's demeanor. I noticed you were acting rather suspiciously with your bag just now. Mind if I take a look inside? Karen's expression shifted from surprise to apprehension. She hesitated for a moment before reluctantly handing over her bag, her heart pounding in her chest. Derek unzipped the bag slowly, his heart pounding in rhythm with Karen's. As he peered inside, his eyes widened, and his breath caught in his throat. A sense of shock and disbelief washed over him. Derek stared at the contents of Karen's bag, unable to comprehend what he was seeing. Nestled amidst her personal belongings was an exquisitely crafted diamond necklace, the same necklace that had adorned Madeline Davidson's neck. The memories of their conversation about the necklace flooded back, leaving Derek perplexed and conflicted. Confusion etched across his face, Derek turned his attention back to Karen. Her eyes welled up with tears, her voice trembling as she spoke. Mr. Kramer, I swear I have no idea how that necklace ended up in my bag. I would never steal from the restaurant. You have to believe me. Derek's mind raced, grappling with a mixture of emotions. He wanted to trust Karen, but the evidence before him was undeniable. The necklace was a piece of jewelry that held sentimental value to him, a relic of a brief encounter with Madeline that had left him yearning for more. I want to believe you, Karen, but how do you explain this? Derek questioned, his voice laced with uncertainty. Karen's eyes darted around, searching for an answer that could clear her name. I, I don't know, Mr. Kramer. I can't explain it. Perhaps someone planted it in my bag to frame me. Derek's thoughts whirled, torn between his desire for the truth and the flickering hope that Karen was innocent. He had to find out who was behind this bewildering turn of events, and he knew just the person who might hold the key, the enigmatic Madeline Davidson. Derek couldn't shake off the whirlwind of emotions as he left Karen standing there, her eyes filled with tears of despair. He had to confront Madeline Davidson, the woman who had unknowingly become the center of this perplexing puzzle. With determination fueling his steps, Derek walked briskly towards his car, his mind consumed by thoughts of Madeline. He recalled her graceful presence, her captivating beauty, and their conversation about the very necklace now found in Karen's bag. Derek's phone buzzed, interrupting his train of thought. It was a text message from his friend Christopher Nelson, who had introduced him to Madeline. The timing seemed almost too perfect. The message read, Derek, we need to talk. Meet me at the cafe tomorrow. It's urgent. Curiosity mingled with suspicion. Derek realized he needed to meet Christopher and unravel the web of deceit that seemed to entangle him. He replied, I'll be there. What's this about? The reply came almost instantly. I have information that might explain everything. Anxiety welled up within Derek as he contemplated the impending meeting. The truth was within his reach but the road to discovery would be fraught with uncertainty. As he drove home, Derek couldn't shake the feeling that his entire world was on the brink of unraveling. The following day, Derek arrived at the cafe, his mind brimming with questions and a flicker of hope for the truth. He spotted Christopher Nelson sitting near the window, a grave expression etched across his face. As Derek approached the table, Christopher rose to greet him, his eyes filled with a mix of concern and urgency. Derek, I'm glad you came, he began, his voice laced with a hint of guilt. There's something you need to know. Derek took a seat, 
his eyes fixed on Christopher. What is it, Chris? Why am I caught up in this bewildering situation? How does Madeline fit into all of this? Christopher sighed, leaning forward. Madeline? She's not who she appears to be, he confessed. I've known her for some time, and she has a talent for manipulation. Derek's heart sank, his hope dissipating like smoke in the wind. What are you saying, Chris? Are you telling me Madeline planted that necklace in Karen's bag? Christopher nodded solemnly. I believe so. Madeline knew about your fascination with the necklace. I think she wanted to cause chaos and confusion, to test the limits of your trust. Anger surged through Derek's veins, mainly with a deep sense of betrayal. Why would she do this? What does she gain from it? Christopher's voice grew somber. I can't say for sure, but I've seen her manipulate others for her own amusement. Derek, you need to be careful. Madeline is playing a dangerous game, and you're just a pawn in her scheme. Derek's emotions swirled within him, a tempest of anger, betrayal, and a lingering curiosity about Madeline's true motives. He thanked Christopher for his honesty and resolved to confront the enigmatic woman who had ignited this tumultuous chain of events. With a sense of determination, Derek set out to find Madeline. He discovered her favorite cafe, a place where she often retreated to indulge in her solitude. The tinkling of a bell announced his entrance as he stepped inside, scanning the room for her unmistakable presence. There, in a corner booth, sat Madeline, her eyes gazing out of the window, lost in thought. Derek approached her cautiously, his heart pounding in anticipation. As he reached her table, she turned her attention towards him, a hint of surprise flickering across her face. Madeline, Derek began, his voice a mixture of accusation and desperation. Why? Why would you plant that necklace in Karen's bag? What do you gain from causing such chaos? Madeline regarded him calmly, her gaze unfathomable. Ah, Derek, always so perceptive, she replied, her voice laced with an enigmatic charm. I wanted to test your devotion, to push you beyond your limits. I wanted to see if you were truly willing to fight for what you desired. Derek's fists clenched, his anger simmering just beneath the surface. Is this some twisted game to you? Toying with people's lives for your own amusement? A faint smile played on Madeline's lips as she leaned forward. Life is but a tapestry, Derek, and sometimes we must pull on the threads to reveal the hidden truths. Derek shook his head in disbelief. Your games have consequences, Madeline. You've hurt innocent people. Madeline's eyes softened momentarily, a glimpse of vulnerability piercing through her facade. I never meant to cause such pain, she whispered, her voice tinged with remorse. But sometimes, in the pursuit of understanding, sacrifices must be made. Derek studied Madeline's face, torn between anger and a desire to understand the depths of her motivations. He realized that beneath her manipulative actions lay a yearning for something more profound, an insatiable thirst for meaning and connection. And what about Karen? Derek pressed, his voice tinged with accusation. What does she have to do with your twisted experiment? A flicker of regret crossed Madeline's eyes as she replied, her voice laden with remorse. Karen was merely caught in the crossfire, an innocent pawn in a game she didn't even know she was playing. I never intended for her to suffer. Derek's anger began to wane, replaced by a mix of empathy and a desire to find resolution. You may be searching for something, Madeline, but your methods are destructive. You've shattered trust and inflicted pain on those around you. Madeline's gaze softened, her guard momentarily slipping. I know, she whispered, her voice filled with genuine remorse. I never expected to find someone like you someone who could see through my walls. Perhaps I got lost along the way. Derek's resolve wavered, his heart torn between forgiveness and self-preservation. He reached a decision that would not only shape his own fate, but also determine the path of the tangled relationships that had become entwined. Madeline, Derek said, his voice steady but tinged with a hint of sadness. I cannot be a part of your destructive games. If there is any hope for redemption, it lies in finding a new path, one that embraces honesty, empathy, and genuine connection. Madeline's eyes glistened with unched tears, a flicker of understanding passing between them. Perhaps it's not too late, she whispered, her voice filled with a newfound vulnerability. 
Derek and Madeleine sat in the cafe, their conversation steeped in a newfound honesty and vulnerability. They spoke of their shared desire for meaning, their yearning for genuine connection, and the consequences of their past actions. As they delved deeper into their respective journeys, Derek realized that Madeline's manipulations stemmed from a deep-rooted fear of vulnerability and a longing for authentic acceptance. In turn, Madeline came to understand the pain and distrust she had caused, realizing the weight of her actions on those around her. With a shared commitment to growth and healing, Derek and Madeleine forged an unlikely alliance. They decided to unravel the tangled web of deceit, to seek forgiveness from those they had hurt, and to rebuild the shattered trust in their lives. Together, they reached out to Karen, revealing the truth behind the planted necklace and offering heartfelt apologies for the turmoil she had endured. Karen, initially skeptical, was moved by their sincerity and the journey of self-reflection they had undertaken. She accepted their apologies, recognizing that everyone deserved a chance at redemption. United in their pursuit of redemption, Derek, Madeline, and Karen worked together to mend the broken bonds that had unraveled in the wake of betrayal. They extended their efforts beyond their immediate circle, seeking to make amends for the collateral damage caused by their actions. Their journey of redemption became a catalyst for transformation, not only in their own lives, but also in the lives of those they encountered along the way. They learned the power of forgiveness, the importance of empathy, and the strength and genuine connection. As time passed, Derek, Madeline, and Karen's lives transformed in profound ways. Derek's restaurant thrived, not only because of his culinary expertise, but also because of the trust he had rebuilt within his team and among his loyal customers. Madeline found solace in using her past mistakes as a platform for inspiring others. She dedicated herself to helping people navigate the complexities of human relationships, sharing her story of growth, and advocating for empathy and understanding. Karen, fueled by the forgiveness she had received, pursued her dreams with renewed vigor. She channeled her ambition and determination into building a successful business of her own, paying forward the kindness and forgiveness that had been shown to her. Though their paths diverged, Derek, Madeline, and Karen remained connected by the lessons they had learned and the bonds they had formed during their journey of redemption. They carried the scars of their past, but wore them as badges of resilience and growth. In the end, the story of the restaurant owner caught up with the cleaners outside, suspecting her of stealing, took an unexpected turn. It became a tale of introspection, forgiveness, and the transformative power of second chances. Their lives intersected, entwined in a tapestry of mistakes and redemption, leading them towards a future filled with hope and the promise of a love story built on a foundation of honesty and growth. And so, their individual stories continued, forever changed by the journey they had embarked upon together. A journey that proved that even in the face of betrayal, love and redemption could intertwine to create a narrative that transcended the confines of pain and deceit.